Pass. The chair recognizes Senator Gavarone. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm happy to stand before the Senate today to present Senate Bill 52 for consideration. Senate Bill 52 will establish the Ohio Cyber Reserve, which will be capable of deterring, mitigating, remedying, and cy remedying cyber attacks on our local governments, businesses, critical infrastructure, and citizens. The bill will also set in the law a long-needed requirement of post-election audits that will provide voters with the confidence they require to know their votes are properly counted. It will also allow for our county boards of election to better be prepared for cyber attacks, both foreign and domestic. The Ohio Cyber Reserve will establish four regionally based cyber response teams, CRTs. Each team will consist of 10 cybersecurity experts. After that, the size will be determined based on the need of the state and the interest of the volunteers. The Ohio Cyber Reserve will use the same mechanism utilized by the Ohio National Guard to respond to national disasters under a state active duty. A local mayor, elected official, or private business will contact the governor's office if they are unable to handle a cybersecurity threat with their resources alone. The governor's office will assess the, re the request and authorize the Ohio National Guard to activate the cyber reserve if needed. Prior to activation, all civilian participants will train together as a cohesive team and obtain all necessary certifications and clearances. While in training status, the Ohio Cyber Reserve will provide outreach, training, and educational opportunities to local partners. Additionally, the Cyber Reserve team will perform security assessments to eligible governmental entities and critical support to assist in identifying cyber vulnerabilities. The next part of the bill addresses a topic that is obviously important to everyone here, election security. After a conversation with the Secretary of State, Frank LaRose, I decided to sponsor this bill in part to further what he accomplished during his time in the Senate. Post-election audits provide the certainty voters need to know their votes are counted. Unfortunately, audits are currently not required by law. This bill will make audits a statutory requirement for every general election and primary elections in even-numbered years. This will provide Ohioans with greater confidence in their electoral system. This bill also puts a greater emphasis on election security. In January 2017, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security named election infrastructure as part of our nation's critical infrastructure. The addition of a Chief Information Security Officer in the Secretary of State's office will help provide opportunities for our local boards of election and the state to be more resilient to attacks and better prepared to respond when they happen. This legislation was voted out of the Government Oversight and Reform Committee unanimously and received no opposition testimony. I'd like to thank my aide, Andrew Uxley, for his diligent work on this. Um, he's worked uh, many, many hours uh, to get this bill ready for the floor here. I'd like to thank Secretary of State Frank LaRose and Adjutant General John Harris and their respective staff for their work on this legislation. I'd also like to thank Chairman Coley and my colleagues on the Government, Government Oversight and Reform Committee for the thoughtful consideration on this legislation. Finally, I'd like to thank all of the interested parties who are part of making this bill what it is today. Ultimately, this legislation will better protect Ohioans from devastating cyber attacks and give them more confidence that our elections are secure, and I urge favorable support of this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. The question is, shall the bill pass? The clerk will call the roll. Antonio Brenner. Burke, yes. Coley, yes. Craig, yes. Dolan, yes. Eklund, yes. Fetter, yes. Gavron, yes. Hoagland, yes. Hottinger, yes. Matt Huffman, yes. Steve Huffman, yes. Kunze, yes. Laner, yes. Mahara, yes. Manning, yes. McCauley, yes. O'Brien, yes. Peterson, yes. Rogner, yes. Ruley, yes. Schering, yes. Sykes, yes. Terhar, yes. Thomas, yes. Eaker, yes. Williams, Wilson, yes. Hugo, Popoff. Yes. With 31 yeas and zero nays, the bill is passed and entitled. 
A bill to amend and to next sections of the revised code create the civil civilian cybersecurity reserve forces to make the Secretary of State a member of the Homeland Security Advisory Council to require the Secretary of State to appoint a Chief Information Security Officer to require the boards of elections to audit election results and to make an appropriation. The question, the question is, shall the title be agreed to? The chair recognizes Senator Gavarone. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to amend the title to include the following names. Antonio, Burke, Craig, Fetter, Hoagland, Hodner, Kunze, Lenner, Maharath, Manning, Abhoff, O'Brien, Peterson, Ruley, Sykes, Terhar, Eaker, and Wilson. The title. And, and please add the name Huffman. Matt Huffman. And Both Steve Huffman. Huffman. The title is agreed to. The chair recognizes Senator Hottinger for a motion. 